Prosper was very cautious with the use of kinetic solution to address the challenges of hoodlums and the looting. But today, the instruction is very clear from Abuja. You must deal decisively with any form of criminality. You must deal decisively with any form of banditry, courtism, kidnapping of any form. Let this therefore be a strong message to every Crossiverian and non indigenous alike. That as far as you are resident in Crossover State, today is the end of that criminality. Today is the end of that armed robbery, that banditry must end today. We have received instructions from federal government and I have supported and I stand strong with all my military men and the police that they must comply with the obligations, instructions and orders of the Inspector General of Police and the Commander-in-Chief of the Nigerian Armed Forces. That Cross River State must be made a safe haven. Recall that Cross River State is a maritime state sharing boundary with Cameroon, recognizing the Ambazonian armed conflict that has bedeviled the Cameroon for some time, leading to an ingress of militants from over 33 immigrant routes into Cross River State. Occasion also and exacerbated by the increasing level of militancy within the piracy around the Gulf of Guinea. All of this has put a lot of pressure on Calabar in particular, recognizing also that the federal government has put so much effort in protecting the pipelines. Ultimately, Calabar indeed became the safe haven for criminals. With a great effort by our great policemen and our military officers, arresting, detaining and prosecuting so many. But because few have happened, our people are impatient because they recognize that Calabar is the tourism capital of Nigeria and therefore we can afford an incident. That has been our culture. But time has come when every single Crossoverian, including landlords, must account for every tenant. As part of the regulations which I had signed into law under the Homeland Security, it is responsibility of government, the police and the military structure under this operation at Paco to demolish the property of every single house that is being occupied by an armed robber, a kidnapper or any bandit. If the property belongs to a landlord, the landlord should be held accountable. That is the provision of the law. That house will be demolished. Today, we have provided over 100 vehicles, 10 power bikes. We have provided radio and supersonic telecommunications, which will not be terrestrial. It will be satellite-based communication, and so we have full connectivity across the entire state. Any single citizen who comes on a trade by a kidnapper, the nearest neighbor just needs to notify a particular number. As soon as you call the number, both the power bikes, the army vehicles, the police vehicles, the navy vehicles, the air force vehicles, the civil defense vehicles, all of them in their numbers will cordon that area and conduct a massive search until those culprits are arrested. Today, if you are not licensed to carry a gun, once you are found with a gun in your possession, you will pay the price as provided by the laws. We know clearly that a lot of people have taken to storing arms for criminality. Today marks the end of all of that. The cordon and search program will continue. The entire world looks onto Nigeria as a source of hope for the black man. And that is why black today is no longer an expression of color, but an expression of attitude of greed, inefficiency, and lack of capacity. That is the story we want to reverse. That is the story we want to change. That indeed Africa and indeed Nigeria can direct and drive the black world into a greater prosperity. The prosperity agenda set up for Cross River State cannot manifest except there is peace and security. And that's why today we have decided that security will come first before salary. Security will come first before pension. Security will come first before every other consideration so that we can bring Calabar back to what we know Calabar for. Peace, tranquility, a place where you come and live and be at rest. That is what we know Calabar for. I want to, on the final note, conclude by asking every law-abiding citizen to please go about your businesses because Operation Akpaku is properly equipped to block every section from Satellite Town to Atimbo to Calabar South down to 8 Mile to every single section where the security report shows high volatility. 
they are all going to be marked down. So if you know that you want to stay and see this Christmas, if you know that you don't want to see yourself behind the bars, if you know that you are a proud son or daughter of your parents and you don't want to bring an embarrassment to your family, stay out of crime. Every single neighbor must note when the neighbor is in trouble to just put a call and Operation Akpaku will be there. I wish every one of you a very wonderful Christmas and I want to see every one of you in 2021. May 2020 not be part of Nigeria again in our history. Thank you and God bless. The new president, Organization of Military Sports in Africa, OSMA, and Vice President, International Military Sports Council, Nigerians Brigadier General Mekano Abdullahi, who contested and won election for the president of OSMA, is formally presented to the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tokel Borotai. <laughs> While congratulating Mekano for the victory, Borotai reassures Nigerians that the army will do its best to support the development of sports in the country. Once again, I say congratulations. It's a very deserved recognition. And I wish you well. The army is fully behind. Lieutenant General Tekel Borotai charged the president to use his office to improve military ties within neighboring countries. Use this office to improve beyond. Brigadier General Abdullahi Mekano, while thanking the Chief of Army Staff for the support which led to his victory, pledged to institute sporting programs that will provide opportunities for regional militaries. We are taking this organization into the next level of achievement. I want to make sure that I unite all the African armed forces in terms of sporting activities. The next level of uh, achievement and we'll do so by good grace. Brigadier General Mekado was elected president of USMA against two other generals from Algeria and Guinea Conakry. Abuja, Godwin Amundi, Liberty News. Angabatada sabanza abapenshu gabang kunjar wa sani narunduno na soja na hiyar Afrika kuma amate makenshu gabang harko kien wa sani narunduno soja nkasa gashu gabang runduna takasa labtana jana tukur yusuf buratay. Dekete ya saban shugaban kungiyoyin wasanni ta nahiyar Afrika Brigadier General Abdullahi Mekano murnan samun nasarar darewa akan wannan matsayi shugaban rundunar sojin kasa Lieutenant General Tukur Yusuf Buratai ya jaddada kudurin rundunar na ganin ta bada cikakken goyon baya domin bunkasa harkokin wasanni a fadin kasar nan da ma nahiyar Afrika baki daya Hari la Lieutenant General Tukur Yusuf Buratai ya kuma bukaci saban shugaban da ya amfani da wannan jagoranci da aka bashi domin kyautata alaka a tsakanin rundunar sojan kasar nan da sauran kasashen nahiyar Afirka baki daya Za mu bayar da gudunmuwar da ake bukata sosai musamman ta hanyar daukar nauyin harkokin wasanni da za a shirya domin kyautata dangantaka a tsakanin jami'an sojin da ke nahiyar Afirka da yake mika godiyar sa ga shugaban rundunar sojan akan goyon bayan da ya bashi har ya samu darewa akan wannan matsayi Brigadier General Abdullahi Mekano ya sha alwashin bullo da sabbin shirye-shirye a fannin wasanni da za su taimaka wurin kyautata dangantaka da inganta lafiyar jami'an sojin kasar nan da ma nahiyar Afirka baki daya we are taking this organization into the next level za mu iya bakin kokarin mu domin ganin mun hada kan jami'an mu ta hanyar wasannin motsa jiki achievement and we do so by good grace Brigadier General Mekano ya samu nasaran zama shugaban kungiyoyin wasannin motsa jiki ta nahiyar Afirka ne bayan da ya fafata da yan takara daga kasashen Algeria da kuma Guinea Conakry karshen rahoton kenan Ahmed Huzaifa labarun Liberty